Replacing walls in KCD is extremely easy to do, but there are a few things you need to know first. Before you put up a wall, go up to Change and come down to Set Wall Defaults. This is where you can set your default height as you put up a wall so you don't have to change it every wall you put up. So if this particular job requires 108 inch wall height, go ahead and type 108 and set it for that job only. If 108 inches is a default that you run into more often, we'll save it permanently and every time you come into the software you're going to find that that's your default starting point so you have to change it less. I'm just going to set for this job only. Once I do that, when I go to add wall in the upper right corner, I just click on it, you'll notice the mouse pointer changes. I hold my mouse key down for the first time and start dragging. As I drag in the upper right corner, you'll see the length and you'll see the angle. If I want, I can just back off of the length I, I'm going to. Let's say it's 130. So I go a little past and back in and I've got it. Or I could just let go and type the number I want and click OK. Now I'm on a floor plan view. There's my wall number. There's my wall length. I click on add wall to add another wall. I could work in any direction. I'll go to the left side. Start dragging. Now I started dragging next to this wall because if I do, it will snap to location. I verify my measurement, click OK, and it actually snapped too. Now the measurement I gave it is the inside dimension, which is the room dimension, which is important because that's the one you want. I clicked on add wall. I'm going to the right side. I can change the number or leave it. Click OK. If I want to change an angle of a wall, all I need to do is hold down on the mouse on the end of the wall and notice I get the four arrows and it tells me the angle between walls up in the upper right corner. So I'm going to go to 45 and let go. Click add wall, drag it, click OK. So it's pretty simple to, to change things. If I want to change the length of this wall after the fact, just double click on the wall, make it any number you want, click OK, and it just changes it. If a wall at any point ends up facing the wrong direction, all you need to do is flip it. So when I mean the wrong direction, notice that the dimension lines are on the back side of the wall. So everything you go to put up here is going to the inside of your room. But let's just say for argument's sake, this particular wall was facing this direction. And you're up here. Now, the cabinets are going to go to the right side of this wall on the floor plan, not the left. If that ever happens, you can grab the center of the wall to move it, number one, anywhere you want. Or you can double click on that particular wall, go to more, and flip wall 180. Now notice the dimension goes to the back side. I grab the center of that wall, drag it up, it snaps too. So when I go to put up cabinets, they're on this particular side of the wall. Now there's quite a bit more to basically putting some things on these walls, but the gist of all this is just by clicking on the wall you want to make active, that's the wall you're going to work on. When you double click in the center of your screen, you're looking straight at that wall. You go to the diagonal lines on the left, you go to that wall on the left, and it tells you which room and wall you're on. Double click, that's the active wall. We'll get more into detail on placing cabinets on walls and moving around, but for the most part, that's how you put up walls. It's pretty straightforward, um, and we'll go on from here.